Hi everyone, it's Annette and welcome back to Cotto Verdi. Today I'm going to be pruning the small lavender hedge that we've got here in the flower bed that runs alongside the glazed corridor and I'm going to show you how we do that. Many people prune their lavender at the end of the summer once the flowers have finished blooming but I like to keep the flower heads on. I think they smell wonderful and they look pretty and it's part of the border arrangement that I've got here so I don't prune at that time of year and that's perfectly all right. You can prune in the spring but do prune before they start growing again so um, get going and do it now because once we hit sort of towards the end of April and May your lavender will start growing again and you'll be cutting off all this year's growth if you prune at that point so prune I'd say you know now February March is fine to prune um, the important thing with pruning your lavender is that you don't want it to become really leggy and woody at the bottom and the way this happens is if you let it grow too much and you don't prune it each year and then what you'll find is a lot of sort of dead wood that doesn't have any leaves on and it doesn't produce anything and it just becomes this scraggly mess of what looks like dead branches and then all your greenery is on top of that and it, that's not the way lavender looks its best. So the best thing to do is to cut your lavender down into a nice sort of dome shape if possible and not to cut into that dead wood the hardwood it's not dead so don't cut into the hardwood too much you want to leave um, at least where you can see a little leaf is growing out because then you know that your lavender will grow from that point if there's no greenery below where you're cutting then I think the lavender will struggle to regrow. I'm not saying it won't, it's just not the best way to do it. So let me show you how I'm doing it. So this is the lavender border that we've got and it starts in this corner here and it goes all the way around and down the bed here and then it runs along that side of the patio area. And you can see just by looking here that I've left space between my lavender plants for them to bush out. So you can either use your Falcos, you know, regular pruners, or uh, um, I quite like using my snips. These are the Falco 310s. Um, and basically, use whatever works for you. Um, and you can see that this is sort of a dome shape, and you can see these are last year's flower heads. So we don't want any of this. We want to cut it back as far as we possibly can into the brown wood. So, can I show you? This is hard brown wood and this is soft green wood, not wood. So this is a soft pliable stem and this is harder this green one here. So when you're cutting it back, let me start by taking some of it off. So I'm just going to grab some like this and cut it like this. So remember we want to create like a dome shape so the sides will be cut a little bit lower than the top. Okay, so I've given it a good trim and now it's easier to see that this is hard stem. So if you're going to cut it back quite drastically so that it doesn't get too leggy, you want to take it back but no further than where you can see green growth coming out. So there's green growth coming out here so it's okay to take this back to here. And you want to do this so that your plant doesn't get too leggy. I've got some grass growing here, we don't want that. So I'm just going to create a dome shape. So I'm trying to make it look pretty and nice and round but you can see that I've left green growth on it. I 
I'm just trying to make a nice dome shape because I'm fussy. There we go, so that's one done and now I'm just going to do more of them. So this is another one. This one is much ganglier, it hasn't filled out quite as much. I think I've got a little ranunculus coming up here from last year that I probably forgot to take out. So I'm literally going to grab this and start by doing that. And then I'm going to prune it into a nice shape. And the reason it's easier for me to do these with the Felco 310s is because my lavender's not that old. But if you've got older lavender, you may feel that you need to, you know, get in there with your Felco 2s or secateurs, any sec I'm not, this is not an ad for Felcos. <laughs> it's just what I use for pruning. So here's another one. And then I'm just going to grab the whole plant. And do that to it, and then I'll shape it. So the method that I use to prune the lavender is literally I grab hold of it and I snip it and I kind of do that, I judge sort of halfway down and that sort of clears the top of it for me so I can see how much further I can go. So again you're looking for, you're looking to cut it down as much as possible but only as far down as where you can see some green growth coming out of the darker woodier stems and avoid cutting into the dark woody stems if there's no green beneath them that's really important so you'll see what I'm trying to also do is you know once I've grabbed it and snipped off half then I sort of prune it into like a dome shape and I'm a little bit particular about the lavender that I've got here because it creates a border and I want it to look pretty and I want it to look structured but you don't have to be as fussy with like clipping your lavender if it's in the middle of a flower bed, it really doesn't matter um, what shape you create except that the traditional shape is a dome shape. And you'll find that your lavender through the year becomes quite leggy and then you just tidy it up again the next year. So that's literally all I'm going to do to all of these and then I'll show you how they look at the end. So that's it, my whole border has been pruned and it's a very satisfying job, it looks really tidy now. I hope you'll agree with that. If you found this video interesting and useful then do subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting loads more videos like this in the future this year and we've got a huge garden revamp coming up. So uh, hit that button below and uh, if you've got any questions let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.